and into the jug. Holy smokes. What is that, 10 ounces? This thing works excellent. It's catching like almost all the mist from the spray bottle. All right, let's fire it up. It's working beautifully. Beautiful. Look at that. That's the water production right there, with just one tiny little fogger. It worked just like I hoped. This side was a little higher, it all ran along here, dropped right into the funnel, and the funnel into the, into the jug. Let's pull this out and see how much it made. That was about 10 minutes. Got the measuring cup. Holy smokes. That is cool. What is that, 10 ounces? All right, so about 10 ounces or 300 milliliters. And again, that was about 10 minutes, maybe 15. Looks like a success to me. If anyone sees this video in an area where they get natural fog, definitely worth trying this material. It seems to work great. Alright, so all the early tests are promising. Everything looks good. I don't have natural fog where I live, so I actually had to use a fogger for the main test, but blew it right against the pad, and immediately started collecting, and within a minute or two, the water was dropping into the trough. Of course, further testing actually has to be done with natural fog, just to see how well this is going to work, but I think it'll work pretty good. And again, that material is mass-produced, so it's not like you'd have to talk a company into making it or anything. You can just buy this. 
They sell those pounds at Walmart. That's where I got it. Now we just cut down a piece of that and drop it on. Okay, that should work good. So the U-boat over there, just a hair higher than the one over here. So the water should run down the trough and drop right into the bucket. And notice, the trough is wide enough that even if the thing blows back and forth a little bit in the wind, it stays over the trough so we won't lose any water. And here's a quick shot of the back. You can see how the padding is reinforced. It's very rigid. All right, it's all set. Let's go outside and test it. It's collecting tons of the droplets, just like I hoped. This material is great because of all those little fibers. You can see them just glistening in the sun. It's great. Let me put the fog back on it. That's the label off the fogger. The only modification I might make is they sell the U-bolts that are longer that go out to like here. That way I could cut this down and the water will drip off closer to the center of the bucket. It'll work okay like that, but it's just going to be close. And again, a couple of the main goals of this project were one, to show you how to make a simple, high efficiency unit, and two, to try to find a material that nobody's ever thought of that might work actually better than even the advanced netting they have for these things. So again, that's what I came up with. Super available. It's just a natural fiber, cut to fit, standard air filter of all things. But it's got tons of filaments. It's made out of natural fibers, has great airflow, and captures tons of dew, mist, and fog almost immediately out of the air. So it works great. I was getting like an ounce every minute out of the professional fogger, so that's a ton of water. That's way more than the netting normally collects. But again, we'll have to see in the natural fog conditions. Sorry, I can't do it that way here because we don't get the natural fog here, so it's the best I could do. But once I thought of this idea, I thought i got to share this because if somebody sees this in a natural fog condition and tries it, and it actually is like 10 times better than any of the netting. And that material is mass produced. You can just pick those pads up at Walmart or Amazon. But this might be a real advancement. And then people could make the smaller units like this and use them at home. Instead of having the giant hillside ones. Or really a combination of both would be the way to go. But it seems to work great. The only drawback to this would be you probably couldn't make this in giant sheets or anything. Because it wouldn't, I don't know, I just can't see it working the way netting does if it's huge, but it doesn't really have to be that big because of the amount of water that it collects.